Well, I guess it all started when I was 16 years old. I was in a band called The Last Wish. We were awful. No, we were horrible. Uh, I was obsessed with bands like The Cure and The Smiths and um, Joy Division, everything from the UK. I loved it, right? Um, so everything I sang was like this, and I would sing songs, and it would come out like I was from England. <laughs> no, like, seriously. If you have that, that, the, the album called The Answers by Blue October, do y'all have that? Anybody? Yeah. Have that? Yeah. Okay, well, when you're on your way home tonight, if you have it in your car, pop that shit in, and, uh, and listen to a little track, or don't, um, called Tomorrow. And, <clears throat> and you can totally hear this accent tomorrow <laughs> find a way to die <laughs> I was like channeling some fucked up Morrissey shit or something you know but it's there forever <laughs> but uh oh. <laughs> but anyway I was 16 years old I was in a band called The Last Wish you know I was in high school and when you're in high school and you're in a band you know it, it's to pick up chicks, right? And I was the lead singer. So, um, no, no, I was in it to change the world with my lyrics. And, um, no, uh, we were playing this little gig downtown Houston um, called the Last Concert Cafe. Thank God. I found out later that it was a whorehouse. Yeah. No, seriously, it was a whorehouse, like fronted as like a live music venue. And at 16 years old, I was playing whorehouses, so so I had the street cred like instantly. <clears throat> but I remember one night specifically. Uh, it's a night that changed my life forever. Uh, I was playing a show with The Last Wish, and I came up to the the leader of the band, uh, Greg. Um, and, uh, and I said to him, I said, hey man, I've got this song that I've been working on. <clears throat> I'd like to go up and I'd like to play it after we're done. And he's like, of course you would. And back when I was 16, I had this ego that was like so huge, because I guess, I don't know. Um, but uh, I, he's like, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. So I went up there on stage all by myself with my acoustic guitar and I played my skills. And, and everybody was just... <laughs> Just dead quiet. <laughs> right after I finished, they were just dead quiet. Their mouths were like. And what does my brain think? I'm thinking, I just blew them the fuck away. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh my god, I'm so good. <laughs> wow, with my three chord song ass, you know. <laughs> and so I go home that night just on this natural high, you know, like wow, that felt good. And I wake up in the morning. And um, my dad comes in to wake me up and he says, oh, Justin, there's something going on. We just got a call from Greg Hammond, you know, it's the, the leader. Uh, his father called my father and said, we need to hold a parents meeting. So when he told me this, my dad looked concerned, but I was like, no, dude, this is fucking badass. They were so blown away that they're gonna put all the money together and they're gonna get us like this huge fucking record deal, right? because of my song so I roll up you know I remember me and my crew three deep my mom my dad myself we get in our pinto and uh, we drive to Bel Air because that's where the meeting was held we, we lived in kind of the hood and Bel Air was like who Bel Air so we pull up and uh, <clears throat> I remember it these big ass wooden doors and push them open and I remember just kind of being like slow motion. I was like, what's up? <laughs> I'm here, y'all. We can start this shit. And my parents are like, what are we doing here? So we come into the living room and everybody's sitting around in a big circle, right? Uh, all the parents and all the people in the band with me. And uh, my dad's sitting right here. My mom's sitting right here and her cute little self, you know, and uh, and I remember Greg Hammond's dad leans forward, and, and I remember Greg Hammond's dad because he had this really fucked up beard. Like a piece was here, a piece was like up by his nose and shit, and a piece was down here. I could 
didn't like look at him. <laughs> it was weird. But, uh, but I remember he goes, let's call this meeting to order, please. And I'm like, damn, this is some serious shit. You know, I'm 16 years old, like, here we go. And he said, uh, I'm expecting the best. And he says, uh, we're worried about the lead singer. Uh, we don't agree with what Justin sang about last night, and I think we're here to talk about it. I personally don't want my child in a band with him. I'm sitting back going, what the fuck? This isn't what I expected, you know? Where's the record do? <clears throat> and of course my dad sits back and he looks at me like, what the fuck did you do? You know? And it gets real uncomfortable all of a sudden. Everything gets very uncomfortable. And all the parents are looking at my parents, not me. Looking at my parents, my sweet little mom. She's sitting there, you know? Sweet little Christian lady, you know, with her legs crossed, just kind of. <laughs> and I noticed that her, her blood's a little boiling, you know, and she's getting a little uncomfortable. And so, you know, she doesn't really know what to say, so she stands up all of a sudden, grabs a lamp, and says, Fuck your lamp! Boom! Glass <laughs> everywhere, right? And all of a sudden, everything goes in slow motion, gangster rap starts playing, and my dad stands up and says, Fuck y'all, we out, let's bounce! <laughs> It didn't happen that way at all. But, but I'd like to think that that would have been really cool, you know, for them to just have my back like that. Um, but I remember I leaned forward and I was like, okay, okay, I, I think I've got a solution for you, Mr. Hammond. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and quit the band and I'm gonna start another band called Blue October. And um, yeah, and so thank you very much for your time. Let's bounce. and. Uh, we all got back in the Pinto and drove back home. And I remember it being a very important night because uh, I remember sitting in the back seat and my dad was in front of me here, my mom was in front of me there. And I remember sitting there thinking, wow, wow, all that for just, for just one song, you know? Uh, and I also remember thinking, I'm 16 years old and that's the last time I'm gonna let anybody tell me what I can and can't say in a song. So we got home and pulled into the driveway. And my dad, of course, he, he walks in, opens the door, and he's like, wow, that's fucking two hours. I won't get back of my life, you know? I could have been fishing. Or... And then my mom hangs up her little purse, <clears throat> hangs up her jacket, and then she sits down on the couch, crosses her leg, gets her little boo-boo or woo-boo or whatever the fuck it is, it's the blanket. Um, and she goes, well, Jess, why don't you sing me this song? Because they weren't at the show, right? So I'm thinking, oh shit. Watch out, mom, I'm about to fuck you up. You know? I, I didn't say that either, because my dad, but it's going, you know? Yeah, but I said, oh, are you sure? Okay. So I remember sitting on our fake ass wood floors and, um, and she was sitting at, and at 16 years old and I played her this. I 
eyes are open wide. Help me look inside. I'm singing. sense um, <laughs> and when you're 16 that's when you find out really who you are you know your personality what makes you tick what makes you feel so honest to God I've been taking Paxil so much I still don't know who the fuck I am <laughs> um, it's been a long time since so I thought about that and uh, but sometimes I think wow I feel really good I feel great I don't need that stuff anymore you know and I go, I'm just, I want to wake up like you and just be like, ah, bah, bah. you know, I mean, everything's great. So I stopped taking them. And then like a month later, I'm like, ah. <laughs> then I'm spitting out of my mouth. So I just stay on them, you know. Uh, personally, I think about it. I really don't know what the fuck I was so sad about, you know, 16 years old. Woo, it's time. To go. I don't really don't know what I was so sad. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, I do. It was you girls. <laughs> yeah, see, he understands me back there. It was you girls. I swear to God. Y'all are like, I don't know what you're talking about. But that's what's so fucked up. You really don't know what I'm talking about. You have this power. This power. And um, let me tell you, I, there was this girl named Amanda. And I 